in this video, we're going to talk about what is a shader and why you'd use one for computer graphics. So in essence, a shader is a program that runs on your GPU. And we're going to talk more about why it runs on the GPU and not the CPU later on, but there are really good reasons for that. And what do shaders do? Well, shaders control the lighting or add special effects to a scene or a specific object on the scene. So as you can see in this example on the left, the, the non-shaded images at the top and the shaded ones at the bottom has added so, so much lighting and so many more special effects to the scene. And here, the shader has just affected this sprite here of this old man and made him look more gold and shiny. This one's actually quite interesting because this sprite or this shape is essentially a, a rectangle, a blue rectangle that has been made to look reflective with the help of a shader. So there are loads of different types of shaders, but most people stick to using a vertex and a fragment shader. I'm not sure what a geometry shader is, so I'm not gonna talk about that too much in this video. Essentially, a vertex shader will plot points in our screen space. So as you can see here, there are only three vertices in this shape because it's just drawing a triangle and the shader will run three times. And once that's done, the shape gets assembled. This geometry shader happens. I'm not sure what this is, but then the fragment shader will run our shader program for each pixel that makes up the shape. So each one of these pixels will run the fragment shader and based on the result of that shader, the color will be decided. Now, the reason the GPU is better suited for shaders than the CPU is, as you can see in this example here, there are all these pixels that need to be calculated with the fragment shader. And this happens each and every time for each pixel for every frame. So I don't know how many pixels are in here, but say about 30 to 40. So that means the fragment shader code needs to run every single time the GPU is better optimized for that because it can do something called parallel processing and it can calculate many things really quickly at the same time. Whereas the CPU is better specialized for task switching, multitasking and focusing on, on simple tasks. So we're gonna be focused on making shaders for game development using a game engine called Hacks Flixel. And we're gonna be using a shading language called GLSL. Now you're probably wondering what is GLSL? And the SL, I can tell you, stands for shading language, you've probably guessed. And the GL stands for graphics library. So this belongs to the OpenGL. Um, so that's open graphics library. And this is the shading language for it. GLSL looks a bit like this. It's a language based off C. And as you can see in this small shader, it's outputting this purple square. So it's difficult to know about GLSL without knowing about OpenGL. So let's talk about OpenGL. As I said before, OpenGL stands for Open Graphics Library, and it's a specification or API that allows us to draw and render graphics onto our screen with the power of our GPU. Basically for us, it gives us the ability to harness the power of our graphics processing units. The benefit of OpenGL over other graphics libraries such as DirectX or Direct3D and Metal is that it's cross-platform. So you can write some OpenGL code that will work on the web, on mobiles, on desktops, and even game consoles. And that's ideal for us because Hacks Flixel is a cross-platform game engine. So whatever game we make with this, we can run it on the web, run it on mobile, on desktops, and even consoles. And that's why GLSL is perfect for us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create our first shader.